Welcome everybody, I'm Taylor Riggin for GolfSwing.com and we're here in our chipping series. We gotta talk about a very important part of hitting any shot and that is our setup. The first part of our setup that I wanna talk about now is our grip. How we grip the club, what we're trying to accomplish in a great grip, talk a little bit about our grip pressure and understand how these things are gonna work into helping you hit better chip shots around the green. So. As far as, we, it, as far as the shot goes, we talked about that a chip shot is a shot that's gonna fly low, relatively short distance, and then roll out more. So we don't need a lot of loft on this, which means we don't need to use a lot of wrist hinge, and we don't need to use a club that has a lot of loft. We're gonna have a shot that has just a little bit of wrist hinge, and we're gonna hit a shot where it flies fairly low. So we're gonna do a couple things with our grip that can help promote that. Now. Typically, when you take a grip, you're going to have that club in the fingers. You want to make sure that it's staying in the fingers there, not getting in the palm of the hand, and that way you're going to have a lot of mobility here to use a lot of wrist hinge. Well, when our chip, when we chip around the greens, we actually want to produce a shot that flies low, as I said, low as I said, and we don't need a lot of wrist hinge. We're going to keep the hands ahead of the club and we're gonna use a little bit of resistance in our left wrist. So we can build a grip that's semi-similar to our putting grip, meaning that the club can get out of the fingers and get a little bit more into the palm. And what we can do is set our hands a little lower on the club. That's gonna help shorten the club up and add a little, a little bit more control over the club throughout the shot. Then we can place the club a little bit more into our, into our palm and as we set up, our hands are actually going to set forward. We'll talk about our weight distribution in one of our next videos. But as we lean forward, our hands are going to set forward. And we're going to have our hands ahead of the club head with the grip of the club slightly in the palm. That's going to help create a little bit of resistance here in the, in the left wrist. If we stand this way, what we're also going to see is just a little bit of arching here in our wrist, which again, helps to create a little bit of resistance so that we can keep the hands ahead and strike the ball with a nice firm flat left wrist. Now let's talk about grip pressure. On a typical scale of grip pressure, we talk about squeezing the life out of the club as hard as possible, and that'd be called a 10. If we were to back that off to basically just firm enough to keep the club in our hands, we'd call that a one. And if we went right about halfway, somewhere between the two, we're looking at a five, and we would back off from there to about a three or a four for a full swing. With our chipping, we wanna have it just a little bit more firm than our full swing, maybe about a five. And that's gonna allow us, again, as we make that stroke, to have a nice, crisp, brisk stroke through the ball and create some resistance there so that we can have a nice, firm strike and create the shot that flies low and rolls out. So take notice of how you grip the club, understand the way we use our hands, keep the hands a little lower on the club to add control, a little bit in the palm so you can create a little resistance here, get a little arch in the wrist, and as we do this, your chipping is gonna improve just by how you hold the club. Take a few notes, take a look at how you hold the club, and improve it to make yourself better at chipping the golf ball.